Queen Margaret shocks the family after four grandchildren are stripped of their royal titles. Welcome to our channel. Before we continue, please subscribe to stay updated with latest information from the Danish royal family. Queen Margrethe II of Denmark has stripped four of her eight grandchildren of their titles. And in a statement published by the Royal Palace, Wednesday, the King revealed that the children of the Queen's second son, Prince Joachim, will be known as Count and Countess instead of the Prince and Princess. From January 1, 2023, Prince Nikolai, 23, Prince Felix, 20, Prince Henrik, 13, and Princess Athena, 10, will receive their titles as Counts and Countess of Monpezet. The King said the decision, which came after similar moves by other royal families in Europe, would allow children to lead a more normal life. By her decision, Her Majesty the Queen wishes to create a framework for the four grandchildren to be able to shape their own lives largely without being bound by the special considerations and duties that formal affiliation with the Royal House of Denmark as an institution represents, the statement said. The four grandchildren, who are currently 7th through 10th in the line of succession, will keep their places in order. Prince Joachim's eldest son, Prince Nikolai, said that he was shocked by his grandmother's decision. The 23-year-old said, My whole family and I are of course very sad. As my parents also mentioned, we are shocked by this decision and how quickly it has already been implemented. I am confused as to why this should happen. His father, Prince Joachim, told the newspapers that the family was, very sad, about his mother's decision. It's never fun to see your children being mistreated in this way. They find themselves in a situation they don't understand, he said. The Danish queen is the cousin of the late Queen Elizabeth II, and the monarchs were descendants of Queen Victoria and King Christian X of Norway. She is 82 years old and is now the longest reigning monarch in Europe after the death of Queen Elizabeth II on September 8, 2022. It was announced last week that Margaret had tested positive for COVID-19 after attending Queen Elizabeth II's funeral. Thanks for watching till the end. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more updates.